Hi, how are you? Good. Go. Cool. <laughs> Did you have any nicknames when you were a kid? Um, uh, like the Irish for for James is Seamus, so like people would call me Shambo, uh, which I didn't like. I was I was a very proper child, so I always like because people abbreviate my name to Jim as well or Jimbo, but I always liked. And my dad is Jim. So I always wanted to be James. So I was always very like, if I was like running around and people would call me Shambo or Jim, I'd be like, no, I'm sorry, my name is James. Like the strangest eight-year-old you've ever seen. So yeah, yeah, I've, I did have a couple of nicknames. <laughs> what song reminds you of being a kid? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think like, do you remember the time by Michael Jackson does? Because I think that that was like just at the point when I was just a bit old enough to be aware of music. And I remember the video used to play on MTV all the time. And I think it was the video where like, there's like, I can't remember, I think it's like Magic Johnson or something like that. Maybe plays like a pharaoh. It's the weirdest video. And I think like David Bowie's wife plays like the queen of Egypt or something in it. And Michael Jackson shows up and starts like dancing in front of them. It's just super bizarre. And I just remember that. I remember that as being like the first like video that I'd ever, and music like just generally that I was aware of. So that's all. What's a common food in Ireland that people in America should try? Uh, <laughs> Irish food isn't, I'll probably get in trouble for this, Irish food isn't that great. <laughs> uh, it's not, like we don't have like a, we don't have like a style of, of food. Like it's, it's, the, the cliches are pretty, like a lot of potatoes, like we eat a lot of potatoes, um, a lot of like stews. <laughs> it's not particularly, even as I say that, it doesn't sound particularly nice. So I'm not sure if there's any type of food. Is there any type of food? Sorry? Clonakilty black pudding. Yeah, that's a good one. We do have this thing called black pudding. Do you have that here? Which sounds gross actually when you say it. Like it's like a sausage and it's made out of blood. That sounds so horrible, isn't it? Even as I say it. But it's really tasty and it's from this place called Clonakilty, which is in like the south of Ireland. So we do have certain things like that. That was a good one. good pick. Um, yeah, so if people aren't put off by the idea of eating blood pudding, <laughs> then it's quite tasty. <laughs> what animal are you afraid of? Um, most. <laughs> um, I have a healthy respect for animals. I don't like what I'm most afraid of. Like, I don't like. I like do we call spiders and snakes animals or do we call them like reptiles and arachnids? We're just gonna throw them all in. Yeah, definitely snakes and spiders then if we're gonna, like, yeah. I'm not a big, you like spiders? No, spiders are gross and same with snakes. Like I don't, I remember I did this photo shoot in Los Angeles once and they were like, the whole time we were doing it, they were like, don't go into the tall grass because there's lots of rattlesnakes. So I was like, okay, I won't. And then the photographer was like, oh, you should totally go into the grass because it'll look great. And I was like, but you said the rattlesnakes. And they're like, no, 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 we were just messing. And then I went in and I went maybe like 15 feet into the grass and then a rattlesnake started to make noise. And like before we had done it, the assistant on the, the, on the shoot had been like, yeah, listen, if you see a rattlesnake or you hear it, just stand still, don't move, whatever you do. And he was real kind of like, kind of a bit arrogant about it. And then as soon as the rattlesnake started to make the noise, he just ran <laughs> so fast away, straight down the grass. Like he, he could have ran straight into the rattlesnake for all he cared. And he kind of realized after about five seconds what had happened. And he started to like slow down to like a slow jog, but it was very embarrassing for him. So snakes, uh, definitely I'm not a fan of. What's something in, about America that you don't understand? Um, well, that's a good question. Um, I don't understand about America. Uh, I mean, I guess, the, I mean, I don't want to like, get into politics and stuff, but like politics is so different here than it is in back home, those sorts of things. Um, <clears throat> sometimes when I watch stuff, it's like, like I'm a big sports fan. So I like, especially American sports. So I watch like the NBA draft and I'll watch like the NFL draft. And I like watching it because it's like, it's fun and it like they make it into, but when we were in New York for the election, we went down and watched it all unfold and it felt like the NBA draft and it felt really strange to me because you're kind of deciding who's going to lead your country for the next four years. So 
coming from Ireland where politics historically is quite serious. It's like everyone wears a suit and it's really like stuffy. And just watching it all unfold, like there was like a huge scorecard on the side of the Empire State Building. And just as from someone from Ireland who's just not used to that, I found that quite strange. I found it quite odd that that's how you would sort of talk about the leader of the free world. What was your least favourite type of homework to do? Oh man. Um, that's a really that's a good question. I like these questions. Um, I don't li like. I'm not a big math guy. Um, like, I was good at math, but I just didn't understand why I needed to do it. <laughs> but that's true of all homework, I guess. It's like I just. Um, because there's so many things that can add for me, <laughs> I was always like, "What am I gonna need to know that? Like, I'll just, I could just, I can ask Siri on my phone now. <laughs> like, um, so I probably shouldn't be saying this to you because you need to do your math homework. But uh, yeah, probably like math was like the one thing where I was just like, I liked English a lot. Like, I think it makes sense because of the job that I have. But I liked like writing, like like essays and, and, and I like writing like short stories and things like that so anything even with language I liked but just math always just kind of like I didn't understand why I needed to do it <laughs> so I rarely did it. <laughs> what is something you could do a thousand times without getting bored of? Oh um probably like eating McFlurries. <laughs> that's a kind of a that's, yeah look more <laughs> like I try to eat like pretty healthy, I don't like, but whenever we're on tour, after shows, I'll always <laughs> usually go and try and eat McFlurries. So, yeah, so probably that. That's not the most rock and roll answer you could probably give, but it's true. <laughs> and finally, can you name all the Spice Girls? Can I name them all, like, as in their, like, real names or their Spice names? Spice names. Sporty Spice, Scary Spice, Baby Spice. Posh Spice, and I want to say Ginger? Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Crushed it. Yeah. Thank you. No problem at all. This is fun. <laughs>